Friends, welcome to week two. Hope you had a good week this past week and that you were able to get some things done, be productive, and just enjoy yourself. So uh, this week we're going to have a look at what we have in store. But before doing that, this message is brought to you by our random fact of the week, which is this one. That cats have 24 whiskers with 12 on each side of the face. So imagine that high sensibility that they have considering how many whiskers that they have. Ah, I would imagine they have nerve endings on each too, so it makes them extra sensitive. That's very cool. So I didn't know there was exactly 24, but there you go. That's a random fact of the week. So for this week, we have our new thematic unit, which is textual analysis. Our first paper, first brainstorm, and that one is brought to you by our lesson of the week. So, of course, please click here where it says the lecture, textual analysis lecture. Here you will find all the materials that you need. First thing, obviously, open up the handout and follow along as you watch the lecture. Here's the actual PowerPoint lecture and this is an article that goes with it and lastly here's the vocab that we'll use for it please watch this video and as you watch the video make sure to fill in the handout as that is our part of our classwork for this week you please be so kind as to turn it in here and next thing here's the explanation for our first paper based on that lecture as you can note, we do have our brainstorm due on Sunday, and the rest of the work is forthcoming. Here, of course, we have sample essays you can look at, and there's the prompt itself. This is the brainstorm link, which is due next Sunday. And this one, as part of our work with textual analysis, we will put our, our semiotician hat and check out this Dr. Seuss cartoon, The Sneetches, and do the same type of thinking. You're going to create a thesis, and with that, following just like we did with the actual, uh, we're doing for the actual paper, right, which is uh, how does this cartoon reflect a larger message? Uh, so what's, what's the larger message? How the cartoon reflects it? How does that message connect to real life? And why is this message important? Here's an example. Let's see if I was doing the Lorax, what it might look like, just as a sample. Remember, you could please be so kind as to reply to a classmate's post. And that is that, my friends. So have a lovely week. Let me know if you have any questions, and see you later.